in this social media age very rarely we are going to write a letter but uh, the icc expects you to write a letter as part of its language question paper it uh, carries 10 marks therefore it is important if you have to score the full marks or rather say 95 plus then obviously you cannot lose marks in letter writing now very disappointed to say once again i told you in the previous lesson also that a good number of you are not at all interested to learn the proper way of neither to write notice nor to write email even not to write the letter is not just to pick up your phone and start doing whatsapp or instagram or whatever social media app you use children you are writing icsc exam you are expected to learn the icsc letter writing format whether you like it or not like it there is no choice left with you but to learn the format so today again i am revising the format of the formal letter in your first semester exam as well as in the self assessment also letter we are given and in the first assessment of the second semester also a letter was given surprisingly very disappointingly many of you did not bother to follow the format of the letter children please take a note of it you are not going to score good marks if you do not follow the format so step by step know the format of the formal letter and the first you have to do in the corner of the paper this side just uh, beside the margin and below the red margin okay on the top there will be a red margin and side left and side also have got red margin so just beside the margin see how it is this is a three line formula and at end of each line there is a comma comma dot this is a formula comma comma dot and sir if, if my uh, address is five lines can i write yes the dot comes or full stop comes only at the end rest all comma 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 if you have got five lines address then first four lines will have comma and the last line will have dot so here it is an example siddharth apartment it can be any apartment it can be the name of your house shanti niketan or sharma villa etc etc this is an example how to write an address you can also write this is a 10 f bccl colony possible and then you can just just simply write dhanbad dot finished pin code okay pin code when you write it has to be always six digits in india all the postal pin codes are comprising six digits so if you write more than six or less than six dear children is wrong is wrong and remember for the entire thing 
you will be given half mark only any small mistake in this part your half mark will go therefore know the significance of the format sir i have written everything but only a small mistake on that small mistake your half mark will go next date point to be noted between number 1 and number 2 that means sender's address and date see there is a gap there should be a gap one line gap clear gap is not because of see there are two reasons first of all it should look nice it will look nice secondly you have got every step got marks number 1 have got has got half mark number 2 also has got half mark so therefore it is good that you gave a <coughs> gap because sometimes you write all together and the teachers find difficult where to start where to end and what is what so every part has got half monocle marks so that's why you should know how to get also the marks beside besides it looks nice 20th november how it is written now a com computer 2020 th automatically becomes we call it the super super set okay called super script see the computer what is showing super super script now will you write also super script in your handwriting if you write you can do it very good if you don't write it's okay you normally write 20 th or just 20 november n should be capital again it should be november full form not n o v not n o v full form after that comma then 2020 you may put dot you may not put dot but this comma is absolutely compulsory next again one line gap the receiver's address remember it is a formal letter this is the address the one who is writing you are writing your address never write your name never write your name on the top of it you write only the name of your house or locality or the house number etc etc you are writing a letter to the editor for instance an example so the editor which editor editor of which uh, newspaper the times of india comma comma dot formula you have to follow dear children you have to follow comma comma dot new delhi again if you are giving pin code then after new delhi you have to give a dash or hyphen because this pin code is of this region subject uh should you write or should you not write well uh, the latest uh, information that we got in our seminars by the authorities uh, concerned people uh, of the icc the icc teachers themselves they come and give seminars to the teachers the latest uh, information that we got the subject you may write you may not write but if you write what it is going to be exactly subject is written in order to highlight the purpose of your letter it gives the reader a quick and clear idea of your letter it must be as brief as possible therefore an example is given drawing the attention of public to keep their surrounding clean the topic you basically you understood no write a letter to the editor to create a public awareness that they may they should keep their surrounding clean so this is the this is the example of how to write a short brief uh, subject so drawing the attention of public to keep their surrounding clean now obviously you are writing a formal letter to an officer okay so it is not my dear never never my dear it is only dear sir or madam but again point to be noted use only one 
either sir or madam not the way i am this is what i am explaining to you you may write either dear sir or dear madam but you cannot write in the exam paper dear sir oblique madam no use only one either dear sir or dear madam you can also write uh, the name of such person see that's why it is dot 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 given why this letter you are writing to the editor there may be you are uh, writing a letter to the chairperson chairman of some company or some manager of a hotel so you can directly write to him his name so dear mr srivastav comma point to be noted dear children after sir or after dear madam you have to put a comma by the way this or is means you can write this way dear sir or uh, madam or uh, dear uh, mr mrs miss okay there is no master okay there is no master okay this is how you write this is called name is called salutation you don't have to really learn by heart what is uh, the receiver's address what is the date what is the sender's address what is salutation but this salutation means how you are introducing okay or rather how you are at approaching the person with the salutation salute body of the letter here body of the letter can be divided into the following parts first of all three paragraphs is it mandatory that you have to make three paragraphs no but what is mandatory that even if you don't make three separate paragraphs can it be more than three paragraphs oh yes it can be 55 paragraphs there are letters we can be very long paragraphs uh, 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 long letter but normally what we expect in the exa uh, exam just three paragraphs first paragraph has the introductory paragraph <coughs> that sentence state the purpose of writing straight away why are you writing this letter that to sir you have written in the subject itself no your first sentence called opening sentence should hit the topic when you go the to the example then we will see then the next paragraph is information paragraph that means give all the details so called the body give details of the issue the cause the effect the solution remember you are not going to write a letter to the uh, officer or editor or manager to describe your feelings and emotions here it is an official matter so straight away the recall hits the uh, it is called target straight away you talk about your issues your causes your effects your solutions etc then there is a conclusion so concluding paragraph states your hopes request comment etc hope you are convinced and we believe that you will comply to supply our need according to some it's called uh, topic courtesy very important dear children you have got half marks for it thanking you yeah by thanking you we get a half mark comma you have already thank thanking you don't say thank you no thank you thanking you okay not thank you it is thanking you comma you have written thanking you don't you have not put comma obviously it's wrong i am giving you the information about the format and format has no excuse this is how it is written it is a prescribed format by the icc board you please learn this subscription means leave taking hi see you goodbye see you tomorrow ne chalta hai that's kind of things in the formal letter okay in the subscription formal letter will be yours sincerely s s 
whenever you use ly this s yours many of you many of you in the exam you have not put this word s yours secondly sincerely s will be small letter not a capital letter thirdly after your sincerely comma if you don't put comma again your format wrong this part of half mark will not be given to you so i have written everything my handwriting is so good you see i have written small letter i have written s yours but i just forgot to give comma okay a mistake is a mistake second one or yours faithfully similarly f should not be capital after faithfully comma or yours truly i remember uh, mrs hilda peacock oh, what a nice name mrs hilda peacock a strong lady big huge looking and obviously she is 70 plus but doesn't look like huh? and when she was teaching us did not take the mic in fact the mic was given she just said i don't like mic she left it and she, what a bold voice she said don't tell your children to write yours truly because most of them will make the spelling mistake truly because everybody knows the true spelling is t r u e therefore truly will be t r u e l y but that's not correct Therefore, advise your children not to write yours truly. Those who are very confident about the spelling, write it. Obviously, you write it. But those who are fumbling, those who think, I, thoda dek lenga ho chayega. For them, it is uh, not true. You advise you to learn only one subscription. Yours sincerely is more than enough. Name of the sender. Full name. Full name. Full name, not your half name, not your title. Full name. No signature. The latest information that we got, rather we got trained by the ICC uh, 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 people, those who come to give a seminar, that when you give your the name of the sender at the end, after your sincerely, do not give the signature. Okay, because uh, it is all digital, no? So that's why digitally we don't normally give signature, you know. Many digital uh, uh, cast memos, you will get now this and that. They'll be writing in at the bottom. It is a digital uh, skull uh, voucher, so no signature is required. But anyways, your signature is not mandatory, not required. Suppose you feel so nice to give your signature to show everyone, we have got a very nice signature, give it, no problem. But you have to write your name. Full name, full name. Here it is. Now suppose the NP Srivastava become very long. Maybe you can write Mr. NP Srivastava. How it is written Mr. NP Srivastava? Mr. Dot n dot p dot srivastava shall we put at the end full stop or not not necessary because that is the end of your letter or you are a student you are writing to the editor you just write your name here it is given Ra rachel sharma you can say rahul uh, agarwal whatever is that clear? Good. If it's not clear, obviously, <laughs> browse through again. Again, go back and again see. This I have put in the format. So, sender's address, this way. Date, this way. Receiver's address, this way. Subject, this way. Salutation, only one. Either dear sir, comma, or dear madam, comma dear mister by the way when you write dear mister then you cannot write the first name of a person dear mister suppose you're writing to me okay then you have to say dear mister tesra not dear mister ashim wrong english 
when we use mr mrs or miss we always use the title learn it dear mr sharma dear mr agarwal dear mrs gupta not dear mrs anita no wrong english body that is the place where you have got lots of marks five marks given in your body courtesy thanking you half marks is there comma is required subscription they have given three of them use only one again i draw your attention to this yours s is mandatory sincerely s is small letter after l y comma is mandatory then name of the sender you give mr n p sevastava or your name as i said rahul agarwal or anita gupta etc 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 how it looks when you get a letter for real so you are fond of reading and like to visit the public library however your coaching timings clash with the timings of the library so write a letter to the librarian requesting him or her to extend the timings of the library <laughs> for only one person good it may happen now how it looks how it looks starts first one is sender's address prithvihar whatever the address delhi etc etc now obviously you have to put a i did not put there that's why now i am putting you comma you have to put a comma here then again you have to put a comma here then you have to put a dot here otherwise you don't give anything is also correct next 16th october comma 2020 dot the librarian the delhi public uh, library bahadur shah zafar marg this is a four line address but still the last line has got the dot subject request for extending the timings of the public library you should always know your topic request to extend the timings of the library so this is where from where you have to get your subject dear sir notice i have given different color this is one half mark this is one half mark this is again half mark this is also half mark so all these areas got got different color means different mark dear children you think out of 10 you are getting sir i have written so nicely so long i have written you have given me only four yeah this part has got only five marks body has got only five marks whereas you have got the most of the marks is in the format half plus half plus half plus half here it is here itself you have got see subject has got not actually good marks it doesn't carry any mark so two marks in the in the beginning introduction itself and at the end also you have got thanking you half mark your sincerely also half mark sunil sharma also half mark in this connection since one line is missing here your subject is carrying another half mark so five marks is fully in your format besides the opening sentence always hit the topic you are sunil sharma so i sunil sharma is deeply interested in reading and often come to the public library to make my time more productive etc etc you right at the end i would appreciate if you could consider the time extension of the library you see what we said in the last point the last point what we said here concluding paragraph states your hopes request comment so here see the last what is uh, the last sentence i would appreciate if you could consider the time extension of the library thanking you your sincerely sunil sharma so dear children i hope rather i believe if you really want you can learn 
so this is how the letter should look uh, well these colors uh, you may not use in your exam paper but again i am telling you one thing very clearly that this better you put these commas this is all good for you this put these commas okay these commas are always good for you and uh, the follow the formula comma comma this is should be dot okay comma comma dot and uh, if you don't uh, uh, use these if you don't use these then obviously you are going to lose some marks because your marks is on the format so learn this next time when you are going to write your final exam please follow this format till then wish you all the best stay safe stay well god bless you